I recently got a question in the YouTube comments underneath one of our rainwater harvesting videos about how long you can store rainwater. Here's the question. How long can you store water in a tank for? Could it be captured in February and stored in July? Actually, it's even better than that. So if you are harvesting rainwater effectively, meaning that you have the right components in place, a good roof, clean gutters, a rain head to ensure that debris does not get into the tank and a properly set up tank. The whole premise behind rainwater harvesting is that if you're putting water into a tank that doesn't have a lot of food in it, nutrients, uh, debris from trees, the water won't go bad. There's nothing that the bacteria can live on. In fact, it's even better than that because what happens is biofilms start to form inside of the tank sludge layers start to form in the bottom of the tank. And I know that sounds gross, but research has been done over the last couple of decades that have shown that the biofilms and the sludge layers in the tanks, which are quite small, actually act as a biofilter. And so they accumulate heavy metals, they reduce pathogens, they generally clean the water up in the form of a bioreactor. And so as long as the water going into the tank is properly harvested, the tank itself and the water within it will remain clean indefinitely. And so this is one of the amazing things about rainwater is that it is one of the lowest energy, most sustainable and resilient forms of water. And this is why Bill Mollison said, if, there, if you only do one thing, harvest rainwater. Hopefully that answered your question. If you found that useful, hit subscribe. If you're interested in more content like this, we write a regular newsletter. We have content on how to go off grid, how to grow your own food, and how to be resilient and even anti-fragile in spite of all the craziness that's going on in the world right now. Thanks so much, guys. See you in the next video.